Prison Island. One of the older builds on 2B2T. This thing was abandoned four years ago. And the funny thing is, no one even knows who built this thing in the first place. I first found this place back in 2013 and it's still standing, so we're going to take a look today. It's had a lot of visitors since my last time here. Not bad. And everyone left it in one piece. <laughs> I remember this sign from last time. But the base that's on the outskirts of Prison Island is actually well kept and has newer stuff, so I think someone might actually be keeping this place in, well, I want to call it tip-top shape, but as you can see, it's not really that at all. Many times, a lot of these bigger builds, the difficult part is just finding stuff to put in them. And as you can see, this place is pretty barren. Although I think at one point, every room was actually pretty full. Like in here. Ah, oh, lag. Wait for it. Wait for... Yep, there we go. Now, if I remember correctly, I think sugarcane was growing in here, and that's why they have the gravel surrounded by the trap doors. Time to keep moving up. I'm just glad the stairs are still intact, because having a water bucket up this thing would be a real pain. Yeah, there's the base over there. It still boggles my mind how good of shape this thing is in. I mean, mostly good. The thing's still standing. And it still resembles the original prison. Now, I won't reveal coordinates, but I will say this thing is within 20k of spawn. So the fact that it's lasted this long is actually pretty damn impressive. Yeah, I don't remember these jungle doors. But I do remember that dirt staircase. I built that three years ago and it's still here. Who'd have thought I'd get nostalgic over a dirt staircase? But yet here we are. The tower's so tall, it must have taken them ages just to build this thing. I remember my first time climbing this, not having any feather falling at all, so it was high anxiety to the max. That is a long way down. I've got to get higher though. Up, up, up. I actually have a coordinate list of every single one of these types of bases I've ever visited written down. So I can always come back and visit them anytime I want just to check up on them. Now I'm going to be at the very top. It's going to be a long way down. Man, what a beautiful view. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to take a look at the other part of this base. So I see that floating cloud over there. I think I'm going to try and fly over there with the wings. We'll see if I can make it from here. If not, it's going to be a long climb back up. I just hope the lag cooperates with me and it opens. Alright, that wasn't so bad. The lag cooperated, which is good. I see they have a new platform up here. I'll have to climb that in a second. But this will give you an idea of just how big Prison Island actually is. I mean, look at that tower. 
Just think about how many hours it took to make that thing. All right, time to do a little fancy flying while I'm here. Yeah, last time I was here, the Elytra didn't even exist. In fact, they hadn't even thought of it yet. So this is going to be pretty neat. And a nice safe landing. Alright, but that's enough fooling around. I better put my elytra away and then start heading back to spawn again. But whoever was living here recently has been doing a real nice job. I mean, this all looks pretty great. Last time I was here, this was just like a desolate little wasteland. So they really brought it back. Alright. It's funny, you'd never think you'd grow attached to digital places, places that aren't even real, but, well, I guess it's possible. Alright, let's go kill some rushers. <laughs> 